What's up, everybody? It's Abe Batchon, the CEO of BeatStars. Uh, today's a special day. We finally are unveiling the BeatStars publishing portal where all of our creators around the world can now register their songs and, and collect on their publishing royalties in partnership with our friends over at Sony Music Publishing. Today we have an exciting guest, special guest, sitting here with me, the CEO of Sony Music Publishing, John Platt. Thank you for having me, Abe. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, man. Appreciate you uh, coming here, sitting down with us to, to launch this new, this new, this new product, this new publishing product that's available today, all over the world, to s songwriters and music producers all over the world that can go and collect um, their music. Uh, publishing royalties. So, Absolutely. so exciting day. Exciting Collect day. and distribute. Collect and distribute. Collect exactly. and distribute. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, John, uh, you know, people always ask me like, why, why should beat stars get into the music publishing world? And I and I answer, and I answer that by saying that we're we're in the business of figuring out ways um, to create new revenue streams for our creators, and then also educate them on the different royalties that are being created and made and most a lot of times uncollected for them. Um, and so music producers on BeatStars who are creating these new intellectual properties of songs that are being licensed and created on BeatStars every day, um, a lot of them don't know that there is some you know commercial royalties that are being um, generated across DSPs all over the world that, you know, that they're entitled to collect. Um, how, how important do you think that is for for this community today that's you know on the internet licensing beats at scale and and, and yeah. for their careers sure um it's extremely important a um again thank you for having me here but you know as as creators you're 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 pouring your heart and soul into 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 doing this music and you know people are recording to it um some of them are uh, just songs that come out some of them become really big hits but all of them make money um, whether it's a dollar or if it's a million dollars. Right. Um, I think the importance of it for Beat Stars is, you know, Beat Stars um, at its core is, is servicing um, the do it yourself creators. And so by you now offering uh, publishing services to them, they can still maintain that independence um, until they're ready to go into a bigger situation um, because it, it's super. It's super important that your money is, uh, that your songs are protected and that you're being paid fairly for them. And that's what we're so happy about with our, with our collaboration and doing this with you uh, to help these creators uh, receive what they're, what they're due. Amazing. Thanks, John. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel what we're launching today um, with this amazing community of creators in tandem with Sony Music's um, services? How, how do you feel this this aligns for, for both companies right now? Um, so I'll take you back a little bit. Um, I grew up in Denver, Colorado, and as long as I can remember as a kid, even before that, I lived in Oakland, California. And for as long as I remember, I love music. And it's it somehow, some way, I, I wish I could remember when, but it as, as much as my love for music grew, my love... Um, for information behind the music grew as well, which which uh, attracted me to the creators behind the scene. And, and then I became a DJ in Colorado and went on to manage some producers and got them a publishing deal with EMI Music Publishing um, probably in 1992 or 93. Mm -hmm. um, so my passion for music has always been very close to the creators. And that aligns with BeatStars. Um, you know, BeatStars, you know, I, I, some people call it a platform, I like to call it a community. Mm -hmm. I think that is beyond the platform. Uh, I think the platform is the opportunity and the community is the community. And and that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for as well. That's been my whole career as an A&R and as a creative. I wasn't always a CEO, I started out as an A&R. So I started out always being close to the talent, always close to the creators. And that's what I noticed with you all. And so when, when, the, when the opportunity came for us to partner, um, you know, last year, um, and it came from one of our junior A and R's. He was a junior A and R at the time, uh, who was very aware of the of the community, and brought it to to our attention. And immediately, I got it. Like I got it. Mm -hmm. 
And, and I was like, wow, they're building something really incredible there. Um, you know, and it was just something that we, it just felt right for us. And then meeting you as well. Um, I just, I just got it in two seconds. It's, it's like music, but it's like A&R. You, you know it when you hear it. And when you're into going into relationships like this, you kind of know it when you see it and when you feel it. And right. it just felt right. And it, it, the conversations that we had last year were just effortless. Um, it seemed like we knew each other for 20 years because essentially we, we did. We were doing the same thing in different, in different paths. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, like we're starting to see, you know, these anomalies happen on the platform with like multi-platinum songs that mm -hmm. are now in the publish B Stars publishing catalog, like like CJ's Whoop D or, you know, little TJ's Call on My Phone. You know, so many more, so many more amazing yeah. songs that are just uh, being created off of this platform. You know, traditionally that's kind of not not how you know hits were were being made. Like, what really excites you about the future of this this collaboration? Well, you know, I, I think. You know, in the last few years at least, you know, this this it is how music has been created. It just they didn't it didn't have an, an outlet though. Still, you know what I mean. And so now, what you all have provided is the technology, um, the passion for music. Because there's some people who have technology who have very little to no connection to the music. Um, that's not totally you know nothing totally wrong with that, but. For me, I'm, I, I like to be in business with people who care about the music and who care about the creators. And so it's super important. And I also think that, you know, a community like yours is, and, and hip hop in general, is, is what kept the music playing during the pandemic. Because the community of beat stars and others as well were already conditioned to do music without being in the same room to, to, to each other, mm -hmm. where other, other genres were trying to figure that out, that was just a normal course of business for, for, for the creators that you work mm -hmm. with. And so much great music was able to come from that. It's super important. Like I, I just think the community where you're building at, at this time um, in music is super important. Listen, the business is evolving. It's always evolving. Mm -hmm. And we want to be a part of that evolution, you know, and, and aligning with you all has been a great experience. Yeah, you know, I'm always getting asked, like, you know, a, you know, why did you get into the publishing world? Why did you decide, you know, to work with Sony? And you mentioned, um, shout out to Will Skamowski, that mm -hmm. uh, Will Will was, you know, one of those A and R's at Sony that had signed a couple of our, you know, producers on the platform sure. and, and saw the the type of work ethic that young community was having on Beat Stars and um, what they were doing in regards to being able to kind of juggle this online licensing e-commerce as business people, but then also be able to kind of assimilate into the publishing world and um, start producing even more and more hit records. So uh, shout out to Will for seeing like, you know, the opportunity um, and seeing that, you know, hey, these creators all over the world, doesn't matter what country they're coming from, are creating some of the most historic music ever, yeah. and they're powering the sound in all of these different countries. And he, and it, it was just it was an honor for me, for, you know, for for you guys to acknowledge that, find that, and say, okay, this is the company that we want to, you know, kind of work with for the future. And for Beat Stars guys, and like when I think about, you know, our journey, um, we we've we've had the opportunity to get into the publishing world forever, but I really wanted to like. I, I always think about my community and I always think about my community and I'm just thinking about, okay, how are we going to make sure we leverage this activity, these songs that are being made across all these, all these different territories in the millions every single year and make sure we find a partner that has that kind of global reach, mm -hmm. that kind of administration um, infrastructure to be able to help collect and, and distribute revenue for our creators at scale and already have the relationships with all these countries. And so, um, it only it only made made sense to work with the biggest publisher in the world with you guys, and it's just it's just been super exciting this whole year. You yeah, know? when you know when 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 ever someone calls us the biggest, um, that's just a fact. But I I much rather be referred to as the best. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, because biggest doesn't necessarily mean best all the time, and and I and I like us to be referred to as the best. Um, we care about our creators. But well, I want to go back to this community that you mm -hmm. were speaking about for a moment. You, you mentioned something about you know, all of these people 
having this music and getting out, getting it out to the world from all around the world, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what BeatStars has been able to do, and now the publishing portal is just another great portion of that is, is the creators are able to handle their business and protect their music on the front end. Mm -hmm. And historically, mm -hmm. what it does is, is we've seen it happen on the back end, meaning you, you're in all these countries, you put your music up however you want to put it up, and some artist or, or producer um, gets the loop or the music and records to it and go gets a record deal yep. and puts it out, and then they're chasing you to try to get, get, get it licensed, and you know maybe they'll give you 100 bucks or... 200 bucks, I've literally seen deals like that happen, you know what I mean, on big records. Yeah. Um, but what the publishing portal and what you all have been able to do is bring a level of organization to it, mm -hmm. structure is a better word, and and things are being handled on the front end. And the publishing piece is is super important to handle that on the front end. Listen, you, you know, as an artist, there's a lot of different ways to enter into the music business, but, you know, the publishing is, in your songwriting is the one thing on, on that day, a particular day, you own 100% of it. And you can choose to do a deal where you give up half of it, 75% of it, or you can still maintain 100% of it and do an administration deal. Mm -hmm. And those are the type of things that you're offering at yeah. B-Stars. And you know, the spirit of B-Stars is people who are doing it themselves who want to um, you know, uh, plot their own path, you know, their own road, and, and you allow them to do that. And at the same time, you know, together, we allow them to do that with their publishing as well. Mm -hmm. Um, going back to the creating piece of it is is, is is so many creators around the world, and, I, and I've long believed this for a very long time. Um, whenever I get into business with a new songwriter or a producer or an artist, um, and you just find them, however you find them out, no one knew about them, you know what I mean? And, and then they have success. Um, always in the back of my mind, I'm like, there's more people like that everywhere i just don't know how to get to them mm -hmm. or they don't know how to get to right. me right. or what have you and that's what b stars is created where it's a community a meeting spot for so many of these creators and listen it's happening for them people that you know we may not have ever met that an artist may not have ever met mm -hmm. great music that we may have never heard mm -hmm. because of this platform yeah. and this community and i think it's fantastic thanks man yeah the, the portal just opens up a whole new world and for you guys um to see the value in how our creators operate on their day-to-day -day as business owners and how they they want to handle their own registrations Absolutely. they want to they want to log in and get you know all of their credits in order or getting you know they're we live in the world where now you know young people and not just young people, just creators on the internet in general love to have that type of transparency and control in, in how they conduct their business. And so with the, the power of, you know, just working with the, the guys in Nashville at Sony um, Music Publishing, you know, seeing how much they care about every single one of these songs that come in through the system to make sure it's properly registered and, and being collected worldwide, where if there's, you know, issues sometimes that need to be dealt outside of just like the technology side where there's some confusion about writers or splits and things like that being involved in and in kind of helping helping facilitate and clean up clean up a lot of the metadata and song and song data um has been has been amazing and um i think our community is going to benefit greatly from you know having having that structure you well know? it's a lot of work that goes into administration yeah. services yeah. and you know i think once once the creators get a get a taste of the portal mm -hmm. and they see how much actually goes into you know um administering or managing your publishing services they will appreciate it so much and it gives them that much more time yeah. to go create more hits you know and i think i think that's important as well but i, I think it's, it's listen it's a heavy lift um to administer these copyrights i'm learning and and you know it's just important that you partner with someone who's reputable um who really knows what they're doing in that space. I've seen far too many people um, sign deals with people who they're not even, they're not even, they don't even resemble an administrator. Right. You know, they'll, so they'll sign to one particular, and every deal is different, so I'm not criticizing everyone, obviously, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I'm not criticizing anyone, actually. But, um, you know, what, 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 what happens a lot of times is you sign to these people in a studio or wherever, and then they come and do a deal with us. You know what I mean? And so we're kind of like, making it easier for you to get to us 
Yeah. Um, and 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 to have your have your works administered in the way you want them administered. It's yeah. almost like preparing you for that next step in your career. And you know, every creator, you should be looking um, at your business because it is a business. First of all, it's it's music and it's what you love to do. It's your passion, but it's your business and it's your business. And you have to manage that as the multi-million dollar business that is because that's the opportunity. And who's to say that you won't ever achieve that? Right. And so, again, going back to managing things correctly on the front end, it's a lot more valuable to you on the back end. 100%, 100%. Um, it, you know, people that are, you know, confused with the conversation we're having and, like, we're discussing this this partnership, and, you know, we're talking about the BeatStars publishing portal that's available now inside of uh, BeatStars Studio on iOS and Android and on the web. Um, it's a technology interface, guys, that allows you to go in, um, start registering the songs that you produced, um, set your splits, and we have a technology connection with our partners over at Sony that um, takes in every writer um, and ingests all of the song metadata and then goes out and collects for them worldwide. So a lot of people are like, okay, okay, sounds pretty pretty you know, straightforward. Um, I, I go and collect on the, um, mm -hmm. on the things that I own, but a lot of people are like, well, Hey, I'm, I'm making, I'm making a great living on beat star selling beats. Why do I need to worry about this, this publishing thing? And what would you, what would you say to, to producers and songwriters that wh why should they care about music publishing? So to, to that specific question and that mm -hmm. specific example, yeah. if you're making a great living off beat star selling beats, mm -hmm. you're only picking up one piece of the income. Do you know what I mean? You're only picking up the piece of the income of selling the beats. You don't know. You don't know what's happening. What you're earning on the publishing side, if you're earning anything, if you're selling that many beats, trust me, you're earning something on the publishing side, and right. and that's exactly why you should sign up for the publishing portal. Right. You know, and and I and I love even the terms of how you can sign up. They're very fair, mm -hmm. very flexible, um, and it 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 sets the songwriter up. If they even want to elevate the deal or re up again or whatever, you know, yeah. whatever their path is, it gives you the the independence, um, the independence that you walked into B stars with. You're able to maintain that independence from a publishing perspective. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important. You you have to have your rights protected, and you want to make sure you're earning what you're supposed to earn. For that. sure, for sure. And those and those you know creators that are just like obsessed with only just the hit songs. They're like, well, I, I don't, you know, I haven't, I haven't produced a hit song. There's probably no publishing revenue out there. But just like you said, if you're already licensing thousands of beats on, on the platform and there's thousands of different songs that contain your music on Spotify, yeah, maybe it's not one hit song, but you have a pool of a thousand songs that you should, you could add them all up. You're, you're collecting on, you know, quite a, quite a bit of revenue. That's a very big point. Um, yeah. Listen, publishing is... That's actually the spirit of music publishing. It's a lot of small pieces that add up to something, something really incredible. And like you say, you can have someone who has the really massive hit, or you can have someone who has, you know, 10 moderate hits. Those 10 moderate hits financially can equal a hit song, you know? And so it's important that, you, that, you, that you're making sure that's all administered correctly. Now, John, there's, you know, s some situations, you know, that beat starts, um, you know, we, we get into and we do some more strategic kind of like uh, publishing partnerships with some creators where it's not just an administration deal. And mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about maybe just kind of like the world that you live on a day to day basis for for writers that maybe join in on a co-publishing deal and what are what, what what are some of the activities in that office like what what you know talk a little bit about the A&R sure. team or some of the things that's, sure. that's happening on the creative side yeah so you would get access to our A&R team which means um, amplifying your 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 you know your uh, success we'll call it um, you know to get you connected in with other creators um, get your beats or your songs to other artists and then there's also, um, you know, sync opportunities to get your songs in TV shows and yeah. films, video games. Um, the, the extra creative piece really comes in at that point yeah. to amplify what you're and doing. We're, we're trying to, so we're collaborating with a lot of like Sony labels and their artists. Sure. And we're trying to figure out a cool, creative opportunity um, 
for all of the admin clients as well too with our you know submission opportunities with working directly with with artists that are looking for specific beats from from some of the artists that you guys you guys work with so we're we're trying to take some of that creative energy by partnering with with some of mm-hmm. the some of the label side and bring bring those opportunities on a platform and I feel like that's something that I think will continue expanding for us where we can um, not just limit, you know, opportunities to like a handful of guys that are, or girls that are, you know, making some noise, but Hey, it, at having, having a beat stars playlist or a submission mm-hmm. opportunity where our A and R's and our, our playlisters are listening and, and pitching and placing um, will also be available in the platform too. And I think it's important because I think, you know, everyone's looking for that, it, it, that one shot, right? It could, right. it could, could come from within a submission opportunity. That one beautiful piece of composed music can come out of it. And we've seen it happen time and time again on the marketplace, you know, what has to be to the community yeah. is so much scale to it. And, and, and that means it's just so much music. And listen, I don't think anyone, every, every creator I ever met always thinks the music they made today was like the best thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of them are, for you sure. know what I mean? For sure. and, and so, um, <laughs> you now have an opportunity for that music to be heard. And that's, and that's the beautiful part of when you were talking about more of the creative stuff right. that, that, that right. we're putting together as well. Yeah. It's just a great opportunity for, for the beat star creators, first of all, um, for beat stars and for us, you know, I, you know, I lean into this do it yourself, um, creative process. It's happening. Yeah. And I don't, you know, a lot of people, um, I should say some in business, they only want it their way and on their terms. And, um, and that's their path. Uh, I, I, I I applaud the creators who are who are choosing their own path, mm-hmm. and this is the perfect opportunity for me because I I physically we as a business physically could never reach yeah. all of the people that you have, you know, if, if they weren't on this platform. Sure, sure. And and so I'm very very thankful for the opportunity. Yeah. I think it's I think it's great. I think it's great. I think, you know, what's cool about the Beatstar studio and our wallet system, you know, it allows any songwriter or producer to connect their bank account from any territory. So when we have situations like, you know, what happened in the past with like Old Town Road and mm-hmm. Young Keo who's based in the Netherlands or Whoopty, uh, produced by Pocoyo, that's mm-hmm. based on an island in Cyprus, a small island in, right. in Europe, like creating these multi, multi platinum hit songs. Um, so it's, it's very important that Beat Stars has a system to pay out royalties to any territory in the world. And people can do that right on Beat Stars, man. And they can, they can connect their bank accounts, they can get paid automatically to their, to their accounts. And, and, Absolutely. Um, and, um, I mean, just think of the just just look at the examples you just mentioned. You know, without those platforms, the world may have never heard that music. You know, it's 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 airline travel. It's all the hope you get the meeting. It's submissions. Yeah. It's all these things that um, and things happen that way. Let's be sure, clear. Sure, but it's a lot that doesn't happen that way as yeah. well. Yeah. and I just love the fact of you know people making it happen on their own. And it actually comes through in the music too, to be honest with you. It's a certain, it's a certain um, level of authenticity mm. um, that comes through it because yeah. it's not touched by the um, geniuses. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll include myself in that category. You'll know say, yeah. yeah. But but like it's just it's just it's such an authentic uh, authenticity to it that I think is special. You've worked with a ton of great, amazing big artists, uh-huh. um, and you're you're starting to see this new generation of artists collaborate differently. Than in the past, right? Yeah, I, I I don't know if it's yeah differently in in how how it's done. Mm-hmm. I think hip hop at its core has always been collaborative, mm-hmm. always. Um, but I think the way that spirit of collaboration is happening right now through technology is what's different, and and I think it's what's making it special, and it's, it, it makes us, you know, it's more efficient. I say it gives you much more opportunities for yeah. success yeah. Um, than than you know, 20 years ago. And it's reviving some people's careers that were stars in the past. Like, it's, it's really exciting to see just, you know, a couple months ago where Soldier Boy, you know, picked up a beat off of Beat Stars and went crazy viral on TikTok mm-hmm. with, with Make It Clap, you know? And it's, it's cool to even see folks that were, that had success and stardom kind of in the past in a traditional label system go independent, discover music, and make their own ways. And TikTok's been a pretty, you know, and Instagram and all these other social media platforms, a big disruptor in, in how 
kind of like music is being democratized and discovered. And sure. so different sounds, different cultures, different languages. And you, it, it's super exciting to see what's happening. Yeah. Well, I, I think, I think again, using the example you use um, with the artists is I think it's like, listen, there's the business is constantly evolving and sometimes that benefits a lot of people. And sometimes it, it, it doesn't benefit a lot of people. And when you, you know, have these creators who still, who are, I should say, who now have a path to still create mm -hmm. and show their genius. Um, I think it's amazing. Another example, Snow the Product, who mm -hmm. was on who was on a major major label, and she, when she went independent, she lived on Beat Stars, you know, and she she hits us up all the time, like guys, like if I didn't have this platform. Like I wouldn't have been able to like you know maintain maintain exactly. my career and feed feed my fan base and and she's and she's grateful for using it. and that's, that's what I, I love to hear and I want people to know that Beat Stars is not sitting here or Sony we're not sitting here boasting about these situations these scenarios we want you guys to use our tools this is this is the purpose where there's no egos there's no no barriers to entry sure. we want you guys to use these tools this is why these plat this platform has been created um, and just. Uh, Cool to see something 13 years ago come out come out out of out of my brain to, to see what it's doing now. But that's why it works because there's no barriers. You know what I mean? It's why you will have the Soldier Boy situation. Mm -hmm. It's why you have the Snow situation. Mm -hmm. It's why you know you have the Keo situation. Like mm -hmm. it's just like it's no barriers. Yeah. And you know, again, there was so traditionally mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the music industry, it was you know so many people who you had to get past to have an opportunity at success. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just yeah. to have the opportunity at success. And 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 that and that is, you know, going away now. And I think it's good for the entire business, by the way. And territory yeah. was always a barrier, right? So people felt uh, sure. creators, writers, they always felt like it had to be in New York, it had to be in LA to make a living or to do something impactful in music. And that's not true today anymore. It's not true today yeah. anymore. And yeah. but beyond yeah. the creators thinking they needed to be there. Mm -hmm. There was a certain element of the business thought that thought you needed to be there. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. And you know, I I, I I get people who want to send me music, right? And they're like, they want to, well, I want to come and meet with you. And I'm like, well, just send me the songs. Well, I want to meet with you. I said, and I always say, you sitting in front of me is not gonna make the sounds song any better or worse. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Like, yeah. just send me the music. Yeah. And and I think that's that's a that's what's happening here. Like it's it's like the music is just getting out there. Or like people, you know, I would go through things at AR where I would send, I would calling, hey, I got this song I want to send you, and they would say, who did it? Like, who cares who did it? Like, it's the song you need to hear. Like, you know what I mean? And, and, and it got to the point because there are certain, you know, executives only want to work with name producers. You know what I mean? And, and, and Or name songwriters. And, and I'm like, yo, it's the song. And so, again, it, it, it's one of the, another thing I connect to with BeatStars is a lot of these people on the platform, nobody knows who they are. Mm -hmm. But they do know the music now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's special. like some people may not even know the names of the people you mentioned, but they know those songs you mentioned. Right. And that's what songwriting is. And that's why music publishing is that important. Yeah. You know, you've worked you've worked with oh, Beyonce, Rihanna, Jay, like all of these major stars and have been impactful in their careers as well, too. When you go on Beat Stars, when you're listening, have you, you know, listening to music on there, what do you what do you what do you hear? What do you like, you know, they do from a from a music perspective? Are you Well, it's just listen, I hear I mean, like I say, I started my career that way. Yeah. Like just listening to tracks, listening to songs or what have you. And it, it just takes me back. It takes me back to nineteen ninety five when I started the EMI. It takes me back to that and, and because there was, you know, as the business progressed, it was kind of less and less opportunity for that. Mm -hmm. And now that's back again. And I think it's super exciting. You know, I tell, you know, our A and R team and 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 well, I tell them a couple of things right away, <laughs> so I won't repeat on this thing, on this on this on this conversation we're having, but you know, it's I believe so much easier to do A and R right now because it's so much easier to get to the creators. You know, most of the people that I signed, either, you know, you mentioned the artists that I signed, those mm -hmm. were, you know, you know, I, I won't say easy to spot, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. they were like, it's different. Um, but when you talk about like some producers like a Warren Campbell or a Rich Harrison or, you know, people like that, um, it's, you're, you're, you either found out about it from another creator or someone's telling you about it, a manager, a lawyer, or maybe someone you're working with already as a creator to, hey, this, this guy writes good songs as well. Um, and, it was harder to get to those opportunities. And now with BeatStars, you could just go right there, onto the platform, and it's like Disneyland. 
it's like Disneyland for creators and people who are looking to be in business with creators. But it's really a great opportunity for artists who are looking. And I'm not talking about just established artists. That's mm-hmm. that's a, that's a given. And everyone on the BeatStars platform would love to work with an established mm-hmm. artist. Sure. But every established artist was a new artist one day. Mm-hmm. Every established artist was someone who thought they were super talented, but they couldn't find any music to pair their talent with. And now you have that opportunity. You know that was probably the the number one thing of 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 you know newer artists, songwriters that I would meet. Oh, I could do this, I could do that, but I don't. You know, I need someone to work with. I need someone. I'd be at these music conferences, right, awesome. and and you know, I don't. I, I need someone to do my beats and whatever. And and you have now there's this community. And you can go right there, oh, and you're sure. getting, and you can get quality too. You get quality. You just named off, you know, five or six songs that are recent off yeah. the platform, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, is way more than that. Mm-hmm. And so you, you, when you go on B Stars, you, you, you can find quality on there. Quality. Trust me. Like, like you said, there's people that will come into the publishing portal, mm-hmm. and then there's people who will do straight up full on publishing deals with. Mm-hmm. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like oh, yeah. that's that that. Oh, there's heavy hitters. That's quality on there. Yeah. Yeah, there's heavy hitters. There's there's superstars. There, Absolutely, I mean, there's producers that have become millionaires on beat stars. One hundred percent right. Maybe the industry doesn't know their names, but you know the streets do. The streets they know. Them, they know that. I, I always say from a songwriter, they may not know your name, but they know the music. Exactly. They know your songs. Oh yeah, they know that beat. And, and as a songwriter, you actually want them to know your songs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Knowing your name is that's the ultimate recognition, it's, right? It's flattering yeah. that they know your name, and right. you do enough of those songs with the end of the song, they will know your name. Yeah. But you want them to know your songs. You want them to know your music. The creator community is creating more and more intellectual property every single day, every single year, right? Um, how does that, you think, impact the publishing earning potential potential for, for our creators over, over the next like five years, you think? Oh, well, listen, if you're going to be creating for the next five years, yeah. it affects your publishing earning potential tremendously. Right. Tremendously, and I don't. I don't think anybody's. You know, these are younger, and that's another thing too about um, B stars. Try try to shift on your question a little bit. Is that it's um, it can be faceless, mm-hmm. meaning it can be someone who's just starting their career as a creator. It could be someone who's been trying for twenty years. But when people go on the B stars platform, they just want to hear the music, and so you you kind of like. You don't get judged in a way that you would if there was like that interaction, maybe mm-hmm. um, from like trying to get an opportunity. Your music is creating the opportunity, mm. um, but I do think I think I think it's it, the earning potential is tremendous. Like I think people, I don't think if publishing is clearly front and center in people's minds right now. It wasn't always the case, right? Yeah, it was always successful. It was always very necessary. Um, but it wasn't at the forefront of the conversation now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's at the forefront of the conversation now. And I, and I love that. Um, I love that. And I, be, but I, but I, I also think it's important that songwriters don't get caught up in the conversation. They stay focused. Um, when I say don't get caught up in the conversation of, well, I heard this person got this, I heard this person got that. And okay, cool. Um, no one ever really knows at the end of the day. And but just stay focused on your craft. Stay focused on what you're doing, and make sure your business is straight. Mm-hmm. That's that's what's important, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know, this is just to creators out there. There's there's always been two people in two sets of people in the business. There's people who are doing the work, and then there's people who talk about the people who are doing the work. For comparing sure. deals and this, this, and this. Yeah. you you, you want to be on the side of you're doing the work. Right. Right. Yeah, I think I think a lot of uh, the creators m- may, you know, in the social media world, we're always comparing ourselves to everyone else's journeys or to your peers' journeys. And I think what our community does so well, they, they're so head down, just knocking out beat after beat after beat Absolutely. and not really focusing on just kind of, like I, I know producers on the platform that um, may they don't have like 200 followers on Instagram, but they're killing it on BeatStars, right? That's. Like you said, the music is speaking. The music is talking, sure. and that's the and that's what's I think so pure about the relationship on the platform. I think it's fine to be inspired by someone's journey, mm-hmm. but ultimately, the only journey that matters is your journey, and I think that's the one you need to be connected to. You know, again, it, it's I think we everyone is. I've been inspired by someone's mm-hmm. journey. You've been inspired by someone's journey, um, but ultimately, you focus in on your journey. And, and, and I think you just, you don't want to, 
you don't want to get into that place where you're constantly comparing yourself to someone else. I think you can use people as a goal. You can use music as a goal. Like I want to make a record bigger than that. All those type of things. That's sure. that's natural. Sure. But I just think it's very important to do things your way. And I think when you're on the Beat Stars platform um, and you're in this community, you have the full opportunity to do that. You know, I, and I would just close with saying that, you know, I would encourage people to to, to be yourself. Do music the way you want to do it. Don't don't feel like you have to do music a certain way or or song like a hit song that just came out or what have you. Um, you know, but I'll also be honest with you. There there's a there's a chance that it may take longer for um, you to have success, but I also tell you it lasts longer um, when you follow the path your way. Yeah, for sure. Cre uh, competitiveness is key in any any industry. I think it's it's great. Um, thanks for your words, man. I really appreciate you spending. The time to talk to us and uh, uh, join us. Join us on this launch. Is there if there's anything anything else you wanted to close out with? No, I just think it's amazing what you all are doing. What you what you've built. What you've created. Um, you've created a platform for, you know, so many to build a community um, to have opportunities that, quite frankly, I don't I don't think they would have had without it. You know, and, you know we've had, you know, everyone goes to Old Town Road because that's clearly the biggest mm -hmm. off the platform. Mm -hmm. um, but I view it as it may not have happened without the platform. You know what I mean? We can go, this one was this big, this one was that big. At the end of the day, they're all big oh, because they come sure. from nowhere, right? Yeah. Um, but I look at it as at its, at its core, it wouldn't have happened without the platform. And people you know, always say, well, Maybe it, it still would happen. It was that good, and it, it's always good to say it's, it's yeah. easy, easy to say that after it happened, because it is that good, right? But only I know how to focus on is how me, it happened. You know, for me, um, without the people, the platform doesn't happen either. You know, like That's when why you're when you're community. bootstrapped, when you're bootstrapped as yes. an entrepreneur, and you're, yep. you know, you're really relying on the investment of your community to invest in your ideas, not not the way around. So. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a beautiful beautiful marriage, just well, that, a beautiful marriage between our community investing into us and then us creating tools that can help help their careers. You know, well, that's a perfect example of last year when we were first starting the conversation. Yeah. What you just said, I view there's no Sony Music Publishing without the songwriters because yeah. there is no Sony Music yeah. Publishing without the songwriters. Yeah, exactly. There's no John Platt without the songwriters, mm -hmm. and so. I, I, you know, for many years, I've always said songwriters come first, songwriters come first, songwriters come first, not the oh, other way around. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and you, and you think that way about, about your community as well. And I think that I wouldn't do it if you didn't think that way, to be honest yeah. with you. If this was just like a way to make a lot of money or whatever, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hit the same for me. It's not fun. It wouldn't hit the same for me. It's not fun. Me. It's not, it's way more fun impacting people's lives than, Absolutely. than anything else. Absolutely. So thanks, John. I appreciate it, guys. The publishing portal is available right now. Go register your songs. It's available for free for all of our premium members. Get in there. Um, register your songs. Our support team is there. Our A and R team is there. We're there to help, and uh, we're excited about this launch, man. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> we're excited as well, and I wish all of you the best of luck. And, and we're just happy um, to be a part of to be a part of the journey with you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank appreciate you. your time, right, man. Cool.